Okay guys, so a lot of you have been watching me go on and on and on about how I became a veterinarian and thus I thought it was important for me to make a video about how you can also become a veterinarian if it is something that you are interested in, if you're currently in grade 9 for example and you're thinking about going into this career. So in today's video, I'm going to just tell you guys about how you can do it. Like what are the requirements, where can you study and what else can you do to better your chances to get into veterinary science, okay? So before before I get into this video, guys, I need to tell you, um, for you to become a veterinarian, it's more than just about um, loving animals. Yes, you need to love animals, but most importantly, you need to have a passion for people, which is what I think works best for me, okay? I love people. I love seeing people do better, okay? And by me looking after their animals, I am indirectly or directly having an impact into people's lives, all right? So that makes it easier for me to be the best veterinarian that I can possibly be. So let's get into it. Um, oh, before that, let me welcome you to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I am Dr. Nobbs, a veterinarian living and working in South Africa. I started this YouTube channel to take veterinary science where it is not easily accessible. Okay, so welcome to my channel. I hope you subscribe. I hope you stay. If you like my content, we do all, we talk all things animal health, primary animal health care, animal welfare, I give advice to farmers, as well as pet health. I have not done a lot of pet health videos, but they are coming. So if that's something that you would like, please subscribe, like, stay, and invite your world. Let's start with, so I have my little bookie here today because, yeah, I need to make sure that the information that I tell you is correct. Okay, <laughs> so let's, as of 2024, this is information from 2024, from last year, okay, for those that wanted to get into vet this year, right? So it may change. If it does change, please keep an eye on the website, um, on the University of Pretoria's website, so you can see if there's any changes, right? But as it currently stands, um, let's start with where can you study veterinary science, okay? You can study veterinary science if you are in South Africa only at the University of Pretoria, okay? I've said it before. The course is only offered at the University of Pretoria at the Ondersteport campus. The course is offered in English, okay? And then what are the minimum requirements that you will need to get into vet? Or should I start with what subjects should you be doing or should you be choosing if you are in grade 9? You need to be choosing as of next year when you go to grade 10 you need to make sure that you are in the science as well as the mathematics pure mathematics okay pure mathematics subject so you need to be, make sure that you are on the, on that class right so what are the minimum requirements that are required to get into veterinary science in south africa you need to be having english either home language or as first additional language with a minimum requirement of a five a five is the is marks between 60 and 69 for example right so it's english that must be a minimum requirement of a five you also need to be having physical science at a minimum requirement of a five and you must also have um, pure mathematics at the minimal requirement of a five all right now listen to me and listen to me correctly meeting the minimum requirements does not guarantee that you will be accepted into veterinary science so you need to make sure you do you know like do better than that if you can okay and then the minimum required um aps APS score is an APS score of 35 and this APS score excludes life orientation. A lot of us in public schools are doing life orientation but please bear in mind that life orientation is not included when they're calculating the APS score. Like I said that meeting the minimum requirements or meeting the APS score that's required does not guarantee that you will be accepted into, pro into the program, right? But there are things that you can do to try and better your chances. Like now they have something called the veterinary science value added form. Okay, so you have watched my videos, you have had me say I got into vet and I had never seen or met a veterinarian. Okay, that's my story. There's only one Mukani in the world. <laughs> but for you to better your chances to get into veterinary science, I do highly advise that you expose yourself to the profession. Okay, the profession is there somewhere. 
around where you live. It's just that they may be just far and you may need to go and visit your auntie, your uncle, for example, if you're staying in Moyesha village, you may need to go to Guiani to visit your auntie and your uncle so that you can go to the Guiani State Animal Clinic and go and um, um, shadow somebody there, okay? Shadow someone there and see how how they're doing the work and, and be exposed to the profession and what it entails to be a veterinarian. Okay. So the value added form, um, it's a form that you'll have to fill in where you have to prove that you did some sort of job shadowing or that you have some sort of exposure into the profession. You understand the profession. You've done your research. You know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. So that's something else that you can do to expose yourself to the profession. And then another thing that we should talk about is, um, where can you apply? All right, guys, everything is online. It's 2024. This is the good news. Everything is online. Just go to the University of Pretoria website or just Google University of Pretoria, apply for veterinary science and it will pop up and you can apply. For someone who's now in grade 12, the applications are not yet open. So you need to keep an eye out um, for the website on the website to see when will they open. Just keep this in mind. Applications close quite soon. Usually by end of May, the application process to get into vet is closed okay the application process is also open to other students in SADC area they do accept a couple of students i don't know the number i'm not sure about the requirements and all of that but you can do further research about that okay and what does the program entail okay what does the program look like well i can tell you well it's a six-year program you're going to do the first year at the university of pretoria at the hartfield campus and then after that you're going to go to understeport from your second year onwards you'll be at understeport where you will do your first uh, your second year your third year and your fourth year and half of your fifth year it will be like coursework and then after that for the last one um, about 18 months that's left on the program you will be doing clinics okay you will be doing practicals if i can put it like that and after you finish your practicals you write your exam you're going to do your oath taking and then you're going to go ahead and do your community service you have to do community service in south africa in case you didn't know you're going to do one year of community service where they place you randomly anywhere in south africa you, you may even end up in cape town if you're lucky <laughs> but yeah so that's a uh, that's how you can get into vet those are the requirements in a nutshell please remember that um i said it in the beginning of my video and i will say it again being a vet is more than just about loving animals there is more to it we usually have to make a lot of difficult decisions you have to have problem solving skills you have to have a passion for people like i said okay um you need to you need to be able to understand that you may need to work long and irregular hours okay things are not always set out you may find yourself you need to be working night shift or, or things like that obviously there are ways to work around what you may you may or may not want to do there is a lot of career opportunities after you graduate so if you want to know more about the career opportunities or what more you can do after you graduate tell me down below in the comment section if i should make a video about that okay but this video was just about requirements and um where can you study veterinary science? I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or if there's something I left behind, please leave a comment down below and I will gladly respond. Thank you so much and all the best.